Hey everybody, it's me, Super Paul Games. How y'all doing? We're back playing Red Dead Redemption, so let's go do our first mission for Bonnie. Bonnie Riffic! This is how you do it. You walk here. Ow. And then you do something stupid like me and just jump off like a moron. Hey lady. What do you got for eats? Why, hello. Oops, sorry. Sir, please, I'm just a woman. Yeah, so I can go shoving men? I I didn't mean to shove her. I forgot what button did what. That's what she gets for not giving a man some food. Ugh. Figured it's about time I started paying back that fifteen dollars. Well, no time to waste. The horses are saddled up over here. Over where? On the on the porch? The veranda? Alright, I'm full. Mr. Marston! What? I'm right here. I'm right where you're going, woman. There's the foreman's office. It's also where we lock up good for nothing outlaws such as yourself. What? I'm a good I'm for. I'm happy enough with my current quarters right now, Miss McFarland. This is my horse. Let's make a tour of the ranch so you can get your bearings. I I need some bears. Ooh, it's like a date, but I'm married, so it's not a date. I'm gonna ride into the fence. Oh. Hey, cowboy. I'm a cow man. That would be a bull, I guess. Ah, oh, shit. To your right is the general store. You won't find Parisian high fashion, but it's good for the essentials. Very convenient. I don't think I've ever seen a ranch with its own store before. Fancy. It's not a specific store, it's a general store. <laughs> If you need specific things, you have to go to a specific store. And here's the corral. This one's for the horses. What do you think? I'm no expert, but it certainly looks like a fine corral. I suspect you've stolen more horses than you've broken. I well, thought she was. Where'd you get such an idea? Say First I stole a corral. I, I didn't. Oh, I might have stolen a horse. I don't know. That's the train station. Things sure have changed since the line finally got finished. Bringing in all sorts of new folk like yourself. Is that such a bad thing? Change is only good when it makes things better. Well, everything's better now that I'm here. I'm gonna be like, I got a penis. The more penises, the better. But that, no, that philosophy doesn't fly very far. <laughs> That's why nobody comes to my sausage fest parties. That's the barn over there. Paul built it himself when I was just a little girl. He built it all by himself. That's impressive. Yeah! You didn't have a barn raising to have people help? And You're... here we are, back at the house. Whoa, that was Let's a great... stop for a while before we head out on patrol. Yeah, I needed a rest. No from me, Miss McFarlane. I needed a rest after that fucking uh, tour. <laughs> Woo! What's the jumping? I'm gonna jump yeah. that fence. Woo! Boom. Whatever. I'm not gonna hitch up my horse. My horse needs freedom. Oh. They're like, hitch up your horse, bitch. Fine. This is not murdering people like I promised the folks. Come on. So I'm recording these both at once, so we don't have a horse name yet. Yaw. How about a cold drink, Mr. Marston? How about a big Thank dick? You, Getting shot then riding a horse seems to take it out of you. <laughs> I'll put it in you then. I can use a rest. Sure. Come on in. I'll show you the house, and then you can sit for a while. Do we have to ride horses for the tour in the house, just like the great tour of the ranch? This is my clock. This is my chair. This is my chamber pot. Mr. Marston. Miss McFarland. Remember me telling you about the trouble we've been having with rustlers and other undesirables? I do. Will you help me keep watch on the property line this evening? Yay. Sure. I want to see just who is trespassing on our land. Aliens. It's a fine weapon. Come, let's head out. The country is really beautiful at around this time. What is that, Spencer? Henry? Ready, Mr. Marston? Let's mount up and patrol the ranch. No, wait, I gotta see something first. Oh, just as repeater carbine. I could look it up and see what it is for sure, but. So that's not. Where are you, lady? Oh, horsey! Jack, jack off! I meant settle down. <laughs> Those are two completely different right. things. Right, follow me. 
Keep Whoa. your eyes peeled for anything suspicious. Well, you're wild. Jack off there, friend. All right, Bonnie. Can I shoot you? You look suspicious. Thank you, Mr. Marston. I feel a lot happier someone's along with me. I feel a lot happier now I got a rifle. Well, with your trigger itch and my feminine intuition. Your feminine itch? Quite a team. <laughs> With your feminine image and my trigger intuition, we, we will be a good team. Are those glowing things? Oh, wait, they're like lanterns on post. They're like. Those are lanterns, city boy. Look, those damn rabbits are at the crops again. I Get down fucking... and give me a hand, will you? Ah! I meant to. Let's see that rifle. I want a couple of these for the pop. Nice shoot! Die, bunny, That's die! It. Kill those little varmints. It's a bunny genocide. Good shot. None will live. Much obliged for the help. Them can be wily little critters. Let's mount up and patrol the rest of the property. I feel bad. Can we eat them now? Can we cook them up and eat them? Let's go. Let's get going. We've still got plenty of ground to cover. I'm riding a horse. There's, um, you know what, honey? You put the whore in horse. Ha, if it's ha, not ha. the rustlers stealing our cattle, it's the rabbits stealing our crops. It well, ain't they... never easy living off the land like this. Maybe you should move to a big city, become a lady of leisure. Damn coyotes, they're back. We can't Yay. afford to lose any more livestock. Kill them, Mr. Marston. <laughs> Slow down. Okay, shooting at the ground isn't gonna help there. Yeah. Come on, they're headed for the chicken coop. Come on, easy up there. Leave those chickens alone. They're my supper, not yeah, yours. Got one. Oh. Come on, jump over the barbed wire. It's not that painful. Where's the other one? It should be like right by me. Come on, boy. Looks like that was the last of the coyotes. If we had to lose any of the chickens. I don't know Let's if go. any of the chickens survived. Well, there's gonna be a lot of meat, at least for us all to eat. You guys need to build some better fences. You know, you can actually handle a rifle. It's something I've had a little experience in. Maybe Bill Williamson did get lucky after all. Luck didn't really come into it, miss. You're a useful man to have around the ranch, that's for sure. But don't think I've forgotten what brought you here. We'll do whatever we can to help you. I sure appreciate that, Miss McFarland. This is you, Mr. Marston. Thank you. The best thing you could do to help me would be to sell your ranch so I can buy drugs. Some morphine would be great. Thank you for your help, Mr. Marston. Makes me kind of happy I saved your life. Get some sleep and I will see you in the morning. All right, Miss Ms. McFarland. She's wearing her bossy pants. Whoops. I can finally sleep in my bed. Yay. Okay, I know, I'll sleep. I'll wake six hours later. Yeah, I can pick up. Ooh, I can pick stuff from my trunk. Oops. Look, I'm slightly famous. So we're gonna get some ammo out of here. And then we're gonna take a nap. I don't think we have any outfits to change into. We're not here to play party princess dress up anyway. I forgot that that's the save feature. <laughs> I was gonna be like, everybody check me saving. Gentleman's attire. All right, so let's go do a mission for Bonnie. So let's get on my horse, which will have a name by the next time, I bet you. Look out! Oh, she might be sleeping. I can see clearly now the rain has come. Oh, Mr. Marston, 
How are you doing today? I'm fantastic. Oh, well, Thank you. How are you? Well, I'm fine. Thank you. So, uh, how are your ribs? Fine. A little sore, but apart from a couple extra scars, it'll be as nothing happened. Good. Uh, come in, come in. You know, you never did tell me how you met that Bill Williamson. Or we were what friends. You from him. We ran together. No, miss, I did not. Well, why not, if you don't mind me asking? I certainly don't mind you asking if you don't mind me not telling. See, it's a complicated and somewhat pathetic tale. And we were mimes if I together. Tell you, not only will I be putting your life in danger, but also threatening the lives of some people that I hold very dear. It's the mime code. Well, I apologize if I seem to be prying. You can't ever talk about and it. I apologize for my reticence. Hope you believe me when I say that it's simply out of respect for you. Of course, Mr. Marston. I understand that a city dweller such as yourself likes to have some exotic secrets so us country folk are impressed. And erotic ones, too. <laughs> I'm no city man, miss. Yeah, but I saw you get on the train at Blackwater. You with those gentlemen in bowler hats? I'm still no city man. But I'll bet you can't ride, Mr. Marston. I hate to take money from a lady, miss. <laughs> oh, you won't be. I'll race you right now. If it makes you happy. We'll see. We got a lot of extra free time, apparently. Johnny went to court and he did ride. Oh, oh. All right, I'll show you how we ride around these parts. <laughs> Can I shoot you in your pooper? Will that slow you down? That's a classy thing to say. Come on. Yeah. See ya, bitch. I mean, lady. Oh, <laughs> I was just gonna on cheat. On the count of three. Three, two, one. No, this ain't fair. I trust you're not gonna be a gentleman about this. You don't know me at all, Miss McFarland. Oh, I forgot there's on the left side there's like a horse health meter. If you work the horse too much, it. it'll come on. It'll buck you off. That's more like it. What's that blue line. This is how it's done! Get up! Tell Are me you get saving it. the best for last? I am the best. How you doing back there? Oh god, I almost rode off the cliff. Huh. That would've been a great way to end the race by dying. I bet you're starting to regret your brave words, Miss McFarland! Would you like me to slow down? No, 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 you whore! How would you like to get beat by a man? <laughs> oh, no, 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 I can't lose. I'm gonna lose because I'm driving all drunk. Go! Come on! Come on, Mr. Horseykins. Help me out. I thought you said you could ride! Come no, on, no, Mr. no! Horsey. I haven't murdered anybody yet, and I'm losing to a lady. This is an inglorious start. Come on! It's not fair. She knows this area. I've never even been here before. Yeah. See you at the finish line. No, come on, Mr. Horse the kid. Yeah. Suck my ass. Follow me. Suck my ass, lady. Suck horse ass all night long. That's why your breath smells like ass, woman. You. You're an ass breath woman. <laughs> this is probably why I'm single. All these sweet things I know how to tell the ladies. No, 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 no. Leave me alone. This sure beats milk a cow. I'll milk you. Yeah. Jingle those spurs, Miss McFarland. Oh, no, no, I'm stuck. Uh. Suck on that, whore. Woo. Yes. USA. USA. Yeah, chicken, do the victory dance for me. <laughs> that was fun. Suck it. Sure. You know, you should go pay the marshal a visit in Armadillo sometime. Shut up. I'm sure he could help you deal with that nice Mr. Williamson. It's about victory moment. Yeah, I might just do that, Miss McFarland. You do whatever you think 
best, Mr. Marston. I will. A man does what he wants. Sometimes I go to the bathroom when I want to. I'm going to lean on this post because I want to. Telegraph times. Oh, I can go into town and talk to uh, Buttfuck McGee. But you know what, everybody? I think I'll save that for next time. I'm going to dance on here, I think. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Alright, this is going to be the end of this episode. <laughs> Thanks for watching, y'all. I'll catch you next time on Red Dead Redemption. Goodbye. Adios.